So this is the GTEC uh, AirRAM in a quite a small box this time. The original one I had uh, five years ago uh, was in a lot bigger uh, box. So it's interesting to see what is different or what's different in this version. Uh, what's different in this version compared to the old version. And if there's any new accessories or if they've redesigned it in any way over five years. So we've got, it's the model number AR29, and it looks like we've got a, a hair removal tool from the roller uh, just here, which wasn't in the original. That didn't come with it 25 years ago. So it's just a user manual in there. Then we've got part of the actual handle. Few bits in here actually and then this is the main base unit nice and shiny ah i thought the brush bar was going to be different actually it's the same um, brush bar as the last one i thought it's going to be solid all the way along but otherwise it looks very similar just a few different kind of color changes on it really. And the battery's already in there. Yeah. Then we continue with the battery charger. Top part of the handle. Wow, they've really uh, broken down the handle into pieces. This time around. The lower part that goes onto the base. I could actually snap that on in a second. And finally, uh, the carry kind of handle part of it. There you go. I'm just gonna take that out. So I just wanted to do a little comparison um, on a five year old one compared to, you can tell which one's new, can't you? Because this is all marked and bashed. Um, yeah, it looks like a different kind of uh, attachment by of attaching the handle. Uh, otherwise, obviously this was silver, now we've gone black around here. Other than that, I can't really see much difference to be honest. Um, it looks pretty much the same. Yeah. Mine is certainly more worn on the bottom where the uh, glider parts have come off from where. Right, so let's put the collections part back in. Let's put the battery back in. And then I've just got four pieces of handle to deal with. So for these two pieces, as I'm looking at the manual, that way around, that piece at the bottom, clicky bit at the bottom, so that clicks in. So that's that piece. And then this piece should go basically straight in here although mine is not locking in for some reason. It needs more work. 
And then this piece goes in, once I press the button down, there you go, so that's the two distance parts. Jesus, I cannot get that in. And then this metal piece at the bottom will just click into there. Actually, hold it. Pull that piece out on the bottom. Let me hopefully you can see that. Pull that piece out towards you. Put this piece in. And then push that lime green piece back in and then you're ready to go and that is it so all you need to do really then just charge the battery up and then start hoovering it's easy to withdraw the battery it's just a little click bit on the back and then we charge here with the charger and you'll see four lights come up on it and they'll pulse and when you've got four static lights on here means it's fully charged the battery then you just need to slot it back in you've got the on off switch here so the battery has got some power in it and then there's a couple of other things i can show you obviously I, all you have to do is pull out where all your rubbish is going to go and then there's a clip on the end here you just open that up open it and then this will push out the rubbish which will come out the bottom and then you just clip it back on line this piece up with the cut out in the bottom there and just make sure it's pushed down and then finally if you want to remove the uh, brush bar on the bottom here all you have to do is push in this circular part here and then the brush bar um, and this, this section here will come out and you can take hair off it or clean it or whatever you want to do with it um, and actually uh, clean it. And one thing I didn't mention about this is that the filter is in the other end. You just draw it out and there's your filter. It's worth cleaning the filters out in these GTEC appliances quite regularly. Um, they're quite squishy. Well, this one actually isn't as hard. Um, the one in the hand one is quite squishy, uh, the GTEC handheld one, but this one's solid, so it's just a matter of washing that out and then drying it in an air and cupboard or in the sun, and then you're ready to go again. One thing that is interesting to note is the differences in the versions. Obviously the five year old version is this one with the Airam logo on. The new one, the 2022, is the one with the GTEC logo on it. And I think you can tell here by the width of the handle how much wider uh, the old handle was between those two. And obviously it had a nice sort of grip on the half on the handle as well whereas now it's just got a basic um, plastic grip which is a bit of a shame now because it kind of looks a little bit kind of cheaper really um, and cheaper plastic but one thing I did notice about the handles is where you get the button to extend on the old one was in a really good location at the top here so you'd be hoovering away and then you could just easily just extend it whereas on the new one it's actually on the back so you actually have to press the button in in order to extend it. Um, I hope you can see also that the old original one had a nice kind of chrome silver effect whereas the new one is just um, pure plastic now as well. So there is a difference in the handles as well if you're looking to replace yours uh, at any point. Uh, certainly a difference in the handles. Actually I think I prefer the old one actually to be honest but unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to fit because it's got two different ends on it and different sizes, different widths. So you just have to use the new handle. Just want to finally say I did manage to get it together uh, and push it together. But wow, uh, that's not an easy job to do to push that together and not something uh, a weak person could do really. So that was quite a hard push together. 
to get those two pieces of plastic together and they are not coming undone, I can tell you that. Oh, the drawback on the suck it's a lot heavier than the old one Yeah, I've got to say, I mean, that's a really good suction on there. Um, and I can really feel when I pull it back that it's, um, it's pulling against the carpet and kind of sucking up everything. Um, so I'm really happy with that, actually. It seems to be working better than the one that's five years old, maybe because the brush bar's a bit um, worn out. But yeah, it's looking good, actually. Um, you can see some of the fluff that I've kind of picked up in there. Normally on Hoover in the house, you can get uh, the I can get my whole house done in one charge, and basically it will kind of um, put a lot of uh, dust and things in here. Yeah, happy with that. I actually wonder if they designed redesigned the handle type. <clears throat> Um, with the button just down here that you move up instead of the one that I showed you earlier on the side because the old one used to break and there used to be um, a sort of a white piece of plastic that used to thread that used to break um, I've got that in my other video actually where I told you how to kind of fix that and how to swap the old version handles out um, so I'm wondering if they did it for that reason otherwise um, is it better than the old version is it worse um, the floor unit sucks a lot better, it holds the floor a lot better, but it could be just because it's new. Uh, I just tried it on some tiled flooring, and the front bar did kind of make a, um, a scrapey noise on a, on a tiled floor, hard tiled floor. And I don't think that the maneuverability of the handle is quite as good um, swinging it kind of left and right as the old one was. But... Uh, as you can't buy the old one now anyway it doesn't really make any difference and i've already managed to kind of scratch uh, touch the side of the skirting board or something a little bit there um but otherwise yeah it's a good unit uh it definitely has uh design has changed over the years but do i still recommend it yes i still do recommend it um when the other one had gone wrong i was carrying a dyson around and it wasn't cordless i had to plug it in and it was a nightmare and it was an old Dyson that was very heavy to lug around um, and I didn't like it at all. So I'm really happy to have my lightweight GTEC uh, back again. I find it really light to carry up the stairs. Uh, the battery lasts quite a long while and it does suck up all of the dust and things off the carpet. So I do like it and I do recommend it. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Uh, give us a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.